hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are jumping straight into this hair tutorial today by first bleaching the knots on this lace frontal wig. Now I really love the construction on this lace frontal unit. It is definitely big head friendly. It comes with two combs in the nape area, adjustable straps, and a comb in the front. I'm also going to be bleaching the knots on this wig using the Clairol 30 volume developer and the Clairol BW2 bleaching powder. I also will be adding in the Ardell Colors Color Corrector Plus and this is going to help tone the lace on the wig. First, I'm going to start with two scoops of bleaching powder. I'm going to also add in a little bit of the liquid volume developer at a time. Now, if this is your first time bleaching the knots on a lace frontal wig, please, 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 please read the instructions and also use your gloves. As you all can see, I was being very hard, hard headed and I did not wear any gloves during this video. I did get some bleach on my fingers, but I promise you guys it does wash off. So don't worry if that happens. But the main thing to remember is to make a cake-like icing consistency with your bleaching mixture. If the bleach mixture is too liquidy, it will bleed right through the lace and onto the hair. And if the bleach is too thick, it will also bleed right through the lace and your roots are gonna be orange and we do not wanna be walking around with orange roots. And here you're just gonna see me adding in a little bit more product at a time so that way I can get that cake-like icing consistency. Next, I'm adding in the color corrector to my bleach mixture, and honestly, I should have added this in earlier, but all you have to do is just add in a little bit more bleaching powder and everything will be just fine. Now we are actually ready to bleach these roots, y'all. So today I will be using a spoon, and I like using a spoon or a spatula because they allow you to apply light pressure when you are bleaching the knots on a lace frontal wig. And also using a spoon or a spatula will help you to spread the bleach out evenly. And just remember to avoid pressing the bleach into the lace so that way it does not bleed through and bleach your roots. Once you let the bleach sit for about 10 to 15 minutes, you can rinse it off with hot water. And I'm also going to be using the ISO Plus Neutralizing Shampoo. This shampoo is gonna help stop the bleaching process. And second, I'm going to be using the Shimmer Lights Purple Shampoo to help tone the lace on the wig.
Ooh, honey, look at those juicy curls. In this video, I am going to be using the ball cap method. I am also going to be using the got to be free spray and my blow dryer to lay down my wig cap. And the reason why I went on ahead and cut out the ear holes is so that way the cap will lay flat over my sideburns. After cutting off the excess cap, I am going to apply the Maybelline Fit Me Powder and the Black Radiance Foundation to give that ball cap effect. And I also applied those same two products on the lace of my wig as well. And look y'all, we are definitely serving scalp, okay? Next, I'm going to be using 99, yes, that's right, 99% alcohol to clean off any dirt or makeup around my hairline. This step is imperative, it is important, it is necessary for your lace to not lift any sooner than what it needs to be. So definitely make sure that you are doing this step so that way you don't have any bad situations. Here, I'm cutting off the extra lace over the ear tabs. Now, this part was definitely difficult for me to record on camera, but you just want to make sure that you feel for the shape of your ear and cut around it. And once you cut it out, the wig should lay flat just like this. Now it is time for round two of Ashley Michelle versus Ghost Bond Glue. Now y'all, I don't know why I was so excited to use this glue again, but you definitely wanna make sure that you're only using two to three layers of glue when you lay down the lace, and also make sure that you are waiting until the glue turns completely clear. Keyword, completely clear, before you actually pull down the lace and press it into your skin.
Here I just pulled out some hair to trim for baby hairs. And the key is to make the baby hairs look thin so that way they are as natural as possible. But you can definitely style your baby hairs however way you please. Next, I'm just showing you all how I refresh my curls in the morning, and this is the Miel Organics Curl Smoothie that I'm applying to my hair. Now we're going to have some fun y'all. I found these super cute colorful bobby pins and I'm just going to cross them over each other to make an X pattern. Now I'm also going to be using the Lotta Body Foam and Lotion to get these baby hairs back in check and popping. And when you are choosing a setting lotion, make sure that it is alcohol free so that way your lace does not lift. Alright y'all, so it's time to get down to the nitty gritty and get to the details of this hair. This hair is from Candy Hair Extensions. This is their Deep Wave 14 inch 13 by 4 lace frontal unit. Um, this is in the color Natural Brown. And um, I didn't have any problems as far as bleaching the knots on this unit. I did over bleach a little bit, but I did go in with my Maybelline Fit Me powder and I applied it on the part. So that way the part would match the front of my hairline. But other than that, bleaching these knots was very, very um, easy. I really didn't go in and pluck any hair out from the hairline. The hairline was already pre-plucked. I did show you guys that in the beginning, but um, I might go back and pluck some more after I take this wig off and put it back on. Um, far as the ghost bond glue, okay, so I still have a love-hate relationship with the glue. Um, I think just because I probably didn't thin out my layer enough is why I didn't like how it set. Um, as you all can see, it did dry clear, but I did have to go in and put some makeup on the front just to, um, hide whatever didn't dry, so... I'm going to give it one more shot. This will be like my third shot trying it again. I'm going to give it one more shot and I'm going to try to do a super, super duper thin layer. I think that's probably why I didn't like how it dried. But other than that, I mean, my wig is not going nowhere. Like, it's stuck snug. It's stuck to my head. And also, um, that lot of body mousse that I showed y'all, it really did lay my edges down. Yes, I did have to redo this front section, but the sides have been laid ever since the first time that I um applied the wig so I definitely um would suggest you getting those products I'm going to link everything down below in the description box 
But back to the hair. Like, do y'all see this curl pattern? Now, y'all already know, if you've been watching and keeping up with my channel, this is the first time that I've ever had curly hair, deep, deep curly hair. I normally do body wave or straight, so I was a little bit nervous because I didn't know how it was going to look on me. I mean, even though I'm natural. I know that kind of sounds weird, but, I mean, I didn't know how it was going to look on me, and I really, really like it. Um, I'm not... It depends on the hairstyle. I normally don't go for short hair, but I'm really feeling this. And if you are looking for something affordable and lightweight, something that can get you through the entire summer, I definitely would suggest picking up this wig because it really doesn't feel like I'm wearing a wig. Besides the fact that I can actually, you know, feel the lace front on my forehead. Other than that, I mean, it doesn't really feel like I'm wearing a wig. It's very lightweight, very low maintenance. Um, I've been wearing the wig for a few days now prior to doing this video today. And, um... I haven't had no trouble as far as keeping up with it. All I do, just like I showed y'all in the video, is spray some water on it, um, put in my curl smoothie, and that's about it. You can do um, leave-in conditioner or anything like that, but pretty much, I mean, you really can just stick to water, but I like to add in the curl smoothie just to give it um, a nice little, just to add in some nice fragrance and smells into it. But other than that, I mean, the curl pattern, I love it. It's definitely true to a deep wave. And, um, far as shedding, I didn't really get that much shedding. Now, of course, when I did, um, cut my lace and cut my air tabs, I got a little bit of shedding from that. But other than that, I did not get any shedding with this hair. It really doesn't tangle at all. Um, pretty much, you can just put your water in it, put your products in it, and it's good for the whole day. Like, you don't have to do anything to it. The only thing I do far as maintenance at night, I tie down the front and then throw a bonnet on. And then in the morning, I just fluff the curls out, add a little bit more products. But other than that, um, I'm going to rate this wig. Uh, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. I'm going to give this wig a 10 out of 10 because the lace bleached wonderfully. And really, you didn't even have to bleach the knots. You could have just added your own foundation or powder over it. But I just wanted to go ahead and do it anyway. So I definitely love the lace. I love the construction. It's not too thick, not too bulky. Um... And yeah, I mean, I'm just loving this look in general. So definitely make sure that you check out that description box so you can get your hands on that coupon code and get you some bomb hair. Like, I really, really, really do love this unit. I don't know. This may become my new favorite unit from them outside of my purple hair. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm definitely feeling it. I'm definitely loving it. So definitely make sure that you check out the description box down below so you can get your hands on this hair. Alright you all, that is all that I have for this hair tutorial. I hope that you all enjoyed this beginner look on how to style your lace front on unit. Also, do not forget to check out the description box down below for all the products that I used in this video. And also, that way you can get your hands on this hair and become a candy girl today. And don't forget to use my code because that would definitely help me out and also give you all a percentage off your entire um, purchase. And also, don't forget to smash that like button and drop me a comment below on your thoughts on this video, on this hair, on this entire look. And if you do want to see the makeup look that I created in this video, also don't forget to check that out. I am going to drop that video the same time I post this one. And also, do not forget to share this video with your friends. That would definitely help my channel grow. And also, remember to stay beautiful, stay blessed, and stay popping. And I will catch y'all in my next video. Bye!